Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Uh, so I feel like it's about time now to um, finish up with the conclusion showing you the software on the Camus C5. Been using it loads for um, over a week now and uh, I feel like I've got to grips with it and I've got it set up uh, how I want, how it feels nice. And uh, I suppose we should just start at the beginning. So, right, <coughs> now, I've used it on using the desk clamp with the um, uh, the thumb wheels uh, against a wooden desk and with the pedals on the carpet and that worked fine. The pedals moved about a bit because it's on carpet. Uh, they grip better on a hard surface um, but you could put um, you know those carpet gripping strips on uh, underneath get some double-sided ones of them and it'll probably grip fine on carpet um, <clears throat> so I've been using it now for quite a few days bolted to the rig I've taken off the uh, the thumb wheels and I've bolted it down with bolts using the desk clamp um, but without the hand tighteners and it is so solid that it's as it's as solid as my Simicube it doesn't, there's no movement at all in this if i go up and down the only movement that you'll see is the wheel deck itself actually flexing because this is the next level racing gt track and it's got a bit of flex in the upper deck it relies on the ends being uh, um, curved over to add strength it's not that thick it's only you know maybe two mil thick or something like that um so yeah any up down movement is just in the wheel deck there's absolutely nothing in the wheel or the the wheels mount so yeah brilliant there um now i'll start by showing you the software and so let's uh let's fire that up where are we so each time you start your pc you'll need to uh just click on the software and then you can make all your adjustments you can launch the games from in here um now so uh, nothing's showing up because i haven't turned it on so because i just wanted to point out anytime you've got a round wheel with any direct drive base don't put your hands through the wheel because the buttons on the back don't reach through to turn it on it's easy to reach just there uh, just <laughs> don't do it um so reach over <clears throat> press it once then it'll bleep and it'll calibrate itself and then there we go um, right so smoothness wise I'd say this is smoother than the Fanatec CSL DD and uh, the DD one you know they've got that graininess to them this when it's not powered on you feel absolutely nothing it's uh, it's extremely smooth when it's powered on I you can almost not feel anything there's the tiniest little bit of it moving across the magnets. It's so tiny that if you just move it like that sort of speed, you don't feel it. It's only when you move it just like this with your fingertips. So extremely smooth wheelbase. Right, now, so I've got the pedals on. I'm using the CP5 pedals, and it detects the wheel and wheelbase as... Um, separate devices that doesn't mean you can change the wheel um so that is one thing about this if you buy one of these this is the wheel that you've got and uh, it, i think it's a good wheel it's really chunky it's really comfortable the stitching isn't raised as much as some of the other wheels that i've tried so um yeah with um i use the i use gloves with this and yeah it's re really comfortable wheel great for rallying Right now, if I click on parameters, well, let's click on devices first. Now, something I wanted to mention. Let's just go to the go to the pedals first. Um, so when I first powered it on, you had the um, you know for calibrating both pedals. So I calibrated them. Had a try of them. Then I went and did the update to the latest firmware. And then that added these exponential curves that you can add. And you don't have to click save or anything when you tweak something. You can just, you know, and then, 
you, know, you can move them about to so i know some people like curves i don't personally i, I like them to be linear but it is there uh, i was surprised that you got that with these pedals because i, I wasn't i was expecting just to uh, you know calibrate them and go i didn't think they'd have anything more than that but uh, yeah it's nice to see um you know them there as extras and the pedals, when I first saw them in the pictures, I thought they were all plastic. Um, but with them all being all metal, they don't flex or anything. So um, they are cheap pedals. They are just entry level, to, you know, enough to get you up and running. Um, but as far as them working, they work fine. And um, it took a bit of practice uh, to get used to trail braking. But um, I can drive it totally fine if you've seen um, any recent um, of the races. Um, they're perfectly fine that would be the one thing that i would want to upgrade if i was getting into this for the first time i would probably if i needed some pedals that were cheap just to get me up and running they're great uh, but then as you know as you get experience and you want to start upgrading stuff um i would upgrade the pedals first um before anything else um but uh yeah they're they're perfectly functional i've got the i've got the pedal plate tilted up quite high because they're tilted quite far back and the reason for that is um, it's better for people who are sitting at a desk uh, because you don't want them facing you at 90 degrees if you're at a desk because you're going to be in like an office chair or gaming chair and it's going it, to you know, your feet are always going to be pu pushing down rather than back when you're um, on a desk like that so yeah I've tilted the tilted the plate up so that they're facing me a bit more and yeah they're they're perfectly fine. Um, so, the steering wheel. Now, they've changed something here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So, when... Um, right, if I turn that now. When I watched Will from Boosted Media's review, um, it was, I think it's about a year old or so now. These encoders, each time you rotated it, it would go 50, then 51, then 52, then 53. It would, uh, making it, you know, not as useful um, for our use of uh, sim racing. Um, the latest update that I did, it's changed it now. So these are two-way encoders. So literally now, each right click is up, each left click is down. So for T uh, traction control, ABS or, or whatever you want to assign them to they, they work as encoders now. So that's great to see um, all the buttons All have been working flawlessly You can't change the display to tell you what gear you're in or anything like that. It just shows your speed and it's in blue um, But that's fine. You know at this price point um, even getting that is uh, you know is decent um, the shift lights work great. They work in ACC, no problem. Uh, so some of the other titles that I've tried, I've tried Le Mans Ultimate. And that feels amazing. The only, there's one thing that is to do with Le Mans itself, is that when you're driving, as you go past the centre point, you feel a clunk. And if you, so if you're going like that, you feel clunk, clunk. Um, it's quite distracting, but that is, I've downloaded the beta software for the force feedback update, and other than that, it feels absolutely brilliant, but there is that which is kind of annoying. I don't think it'll be there for long, I imagine they'll fix it. Um, so, the other thing that I tried, did a bit of rallying, um, I tried WRC haven't been on it since it first came out and when it first came out i thought the force feedback with my i was using the fanatec uh, csl at the time i thought the feedback felt um kind of a bit muted and you didn't feel that much um but i'm happy to say when i tried it yesterday it's been a long time since i've tried that the force feedback now is excellent uh, i haven't tried it on any other wheelbase um just on this and you feel every Every little rock that you drive over, you feel the clunk from it, and it fit, yeah, felt absolutely brilliant. Um, so, <clears throat> where do we go next? Now, the shift, the only two things um, that I would like that would, you know, to be different um, is the 
the paddles work fine they feel great and they're silent uh, i just wish they were a bit bigger um, so when i was doing a bit of rallying yesterday when i was like you know had the the wheel uh, slipping through my hands um i had to <laughs> you know yeah you had to pause your your brain for a moment to make sure that you reach them uh, but admittedly you really should be using the sequential shifter for rallying and i don't have one i'll get one one day but uh so yeah i, I wish the paddles were a little bigger right now that this is powered on uh this is where you select your steering rotation so in acc you can set your steering angle to zero and then set this this works for all wheelbases that i've tried just leave it at zero and then set the rotation in the software to be whatever the car is that you're using and then you'll automatically have the bump stop at the right angle so um yeah so like when i get to the back yep yeah, you feel the bump stop and so it'll put it at the right angle now i'm not sure exactly why you have this you can click on specified or the c5 because nothing i can see actually changes there and um, so i don't know what that is maybe it's something that will become apparent in the future on uh, what it actually is I, i'm not sure uh update this is where you go this is all the latest firmware um that that i've got installed so you click open update assistant there, there is um, a beta um you can opt into as well uh, i haven't actually tried that i just wanted to run the latest um the the latest firmware uh, on each of them and yeah work, works good also um in acc the one thing that i did notice before i updated it is that the rumble strips i couldn't feel them when i was going over them and after i did the update I noticed when I did uh, a Barcelona race, uh, I can feel them now. It's not as pronounced, um, but it is there. So the the detail and Alton Park as well. It you felt oh, it's Alton Park is so bumpy. You felt everything, and I was really impressed with that. Um, so we are. That's that covered. Here, <clears throat> so um, natural damping. Kind of makes it feel a bit like um, you feel the connection from the wheel to the wheels and I found that if I turned this up high it, it gets very heavy to turn it and if I then turn this up natural friction up really high it gets twice as heavy just to turn so i found that the natural friction is the feeling it's trying to simulate the feeling of the tires when you're parked up being connected to the to the road and you're just dragging the tires in their rotation with the car stationary i found if you have these too high then when you go for a drive and you go to catch a slide um when you do a slide and the back end steps out the car instinctively wants to rotate around the front wheels leaving the front wheels carrying on going where they're going so the wheel will slowly if you go slide to the right the back end steps out to to the left then the wheel would go light and start to want to go left on its own it's kind of, you know when you're watching people drifting um, that's why they have to <coughs> let the wheel slip through the hands to let to let it quickly uh, get to the point where you want them and if you have these too high um, when you go to correct it it's too stiff to turn against when you go to give opposite lock uh, so with them two on zero I thought it felt a bit too light when you were correcting but on 10% I found that was the sweet spot for me so you, you've just got that little bit of uh, resistance there and when you want to counter a slide it's very easy to to catch uh, so yeah ten percent on both of them now natural inertia and and idle spring I can't feel anything regardless of where 
the sliders are the idle spring just you know carefully brings the wheel back to the center um, but I just couldn't really feel uh, when I was driving I didn't feel that this was this added anything to it so I just left that at zero I'm, I'm not fussed about it returning to the center um, but yeah I'd I don't like to run as many, uh, too many filters, so like just this natural da dampening and natural friction just at 10% is, you know, fine. I, I liked it like that. Now, this is where, if you sign into a profile, you can download other people's setups. <clears throat> I found that I just enjoyed the settings that, you, that I've got here. On uh, each game that I tried, uh, I didn't really want to mess with them too much because it just felt I I, I thought they were good as they were. Um, game effects again. I think these I had to mess around with these and I liked them just as as they are here. Um, they just felt I, I didn't want too many filters over the top of the. A force feedback so I left these all at 50 uh, <clears throat> the intensity at 100 and that out was fine um, assistance force feedback inversion uh, I had to invert the force feedback for Le Mans ultimate I didn't do it in this I did it in the game um, but uh, occasionally you'll find something that needs it and I had to do that on um, Ren Sport with my Fanatec base as well um, so end stop strength medium actually I meant to have this on hard I thought I changed it but uh, apparently I didn't this is how hard it stopped oh that's better yeah so that's how much you can have it uh, have a soft feel at its end stop but uh, yeah I much prefer it set to hard so yeah <coughs> now the the fan is on um when the wheelbase is on the fans on all the time you don't hear it it's on now it's it's silent it, it pushes a good amount of air to the base and i've ran this on 100 percent for um, a few hours at a time giving it a real good heavy workout uh without turning in the force feedback down at all and i've not reached any i've not had any error codes it's not got hot and there's not been any any issues so uh, and it's always just been just like lukewarm to the touch uh, after a few hours so uh, the fan does a real good job of um, you know keeping it cool and yeah no overheating issues I, I gave it a real good real good stress test um, where are we now um, just just leaving it at 100% uh, and uh, when you first unbox it and plug it in before you download the software it'll default to 50 percent so if you just go for a drive like that um you're going to get clipping because uh 50 percent uh, isn't much so like i went straight into acc just to see what would happen when you just jump into something without any software or any tweaking and there was a little bit of clipping um, because it was running at half its uh, uh, rated torque, so whack that up to a hundred, and it's a lot stronger than I was expecting. I've tried it back to back with the five newton meter um, CSL, and it is much stronger than that. I'd say it's closer to the eight newton meter, and the detail is quite close to it as well. The only difference, detail-wise, all the road textures feel. I uh, pretty much identical. The only thing is the rumble strips. You feel them a bit more pronounced on the Fanatec base, um, and that's it. Everything else feels spot on. I think the reaction time um, or slew rate may be slightly faster on this than the Fanatec. I can't measure this, so I can't tell you. And there's no figures to um, to let you know with either base what the uh, slew rate is and manufacturers measure them differently but i think this feels slightly more responsive when you're going to catch a, 
but you need to catch a slide. Um, it just felt a tiny bit quicker to me when uh, I was doing some deliberate uh, slides in ACC just to uh, see, see what both bases uh, felt like, and it did. It just felt, it just felt a tiny bit faster. Uh, people that do a lot of drifting might um, might know because I know um, it's nice to have a flash slew rate with drifting. So uh, people that do drifting might have a better uh, opinion on the 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 speed the slew rate between this and uh, you know Fanatec CSL DD. Right now that is that is everything there. Let me just settings that's just for the uh, if, if you're trying to run forza horizon 5 um you're supposed to tick that box i don't have uh, forza horizon 5 so i i can't say what it's like um but uh, yeah that's that's where you go for that uh, so right um let's just jump in and have a little drive where is it still not used to the having the monitor on the side here Okay. Right, let's load up ACC. Just go for a go for a little leisurely drive. So the wheel size, I think, is just the the right size for the torque that this has got. I, th I think it's. Uh, I think they've. they've picked a good size and the thickness um i think they've i think that's spot on because i've got huge hands so a chunky wheel um stops my hands from hurting so yeah this is a, let's just let's jump in no, i'll be driving around nerves let's um go to barcelona Go for a little drive. I've got the rotation. It's doing rotation set to 800, which is um, the Ferrari's rotation. Yeah, it's just low. I was here the other day, that's why I thought I'd jump in here. Uh, it's 20 degrees, 17. Okay, let's just go for a little drive. Green light. Give us a okay. <laughs> so, as lights, they uh, you can't change the colour of them or the order of uh, them flashing. Like you can't make them start at the sides and then come to the middle. Um, but it's perfectly fine. Right, brakes were have been uh, driving uh, nerves a lot at the moment in different cars. So uh, yeah, so like the rumble strips, <coughs> I'm glad that I can feel them now. They are a little bit muted, uh, but you do feel them, so that's brilliant.
can't change the speed to mile an hour either. Um, I did try, see if I can find it. But, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, li it's in kilometres. Try brake boosted on these pedals as well. It felt quite strange, but uh, managed to do it perfectly fine. So still able to get a decent start or decent in Ferrari terms, which is it's not the best car off the line, but uh, yeah. So you can brake boost and uh... oh, bit deep. You can brake boost and trail brake on these pedals. Just uh... Just takes practice. This track, this track and car combo is excellent. There we go. That is hopefully everything covered. Right, so let's go back out back to the the software. So yeah, final conclusion. Would I buy this with my own money? And if I was on a budget where you know, my choices were uh, if I couldn't stretch to in, into the DD market and my choices were gear driven or belt driven bases absolutely 100% I would buy this and I'll be happy with it and I am happy with it um, if you're happy with having the the one wheel then absolutely brilliant i would definitely get it with the the desk clamp so that you've got the fan that can neatly mount and then you've got some tilt adjustment then as well um and yeah um, if you're i mean it's only it's like 250 dollars it's like it's unbelievable if you want a wheelbase where you can change wheels uh, you want different rims formula rims um you know maybe a drifting rim um then you'll have to go to something else uh, but if you're happy with the, um, the with this wheel in particular, 
then uh, I think I think anyone would be happy with it. That the false feedback has really surprised me. I was expecting a lot less than what it actually is, and it's definitely giving you very close to the eight newton meters that you get. Um, with I mean I don't know what the the Fanatec CSL DD eight newton meter that's its peak. It's not its constant, so. I don't know what their sustained level is, but uh, yeah, I I think it's absolutely brilliant for the money. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, I can't say enough good things. I mean, the only negatives are, like, I don't, I don't like the paddles. Um, and I would probably, if I was just starting out, I would probably try and see if I could afford a, a load cell set of paddles. Uh, Canvas have got some load cell paddles coming out, and they, I mean, they look uh, like they could be quite nice. You know, they they look pretty solid in the pictures. Uh, they're not actually out yet; they're a, they're a pre-order. Um, but yeah, that's it. So that's the that's the the Camus C5, uh, and where I'm at with it. Um, turn turn it off again. Don't put your hand through the wheel to do it. Just reach around the back, hold the button for a few seconds, and let go. And uh, that's it. Uh, you're off. Um, and um, the list, uh, just one more thing. The list of games that are, are here, uh, it says um, that these are un unavailable. And I've been trying to get... Where is it? The new WRC. I can't find it now. I was just looking at this last night. Yeah, uh, WRC. I've been trying to get it to move up to the available ones, um, but you've got to add a path, so I haven't added a path. Uh, you've just got to show it where you, you've installed it. I've, I've had to install it on a different hard drive. Um, otherwise, that would be then up at the top. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've just been using that same profile, just with the um, 10%. On those two sliders and feels spot on i'm happy with that um and yep that's uh that's it so i'm uh, sorry it took a while to get to this point but i wanted to give it a real good workout and i wanted to do some races with it um because I, I wanted to see how how it would run with uh with it maxed out with the force feedback maxed out all the time and uh give it a real good good test so uh yep Brilliant! I'm more than happy to have this as the the backup wheelbase. Um, if my main rig has any problems, then I know I can. Uh, the, the, this is ready to go, and I'll keep on doing races in it because it's it, it's fun. Um, just you know, just being on a smaller monitor, uh, not being completely surrounded by screens. It's nice to just jump into something more more simple, and just uh, just click and go. Um, so that's it. That, that's that's where I'm at with it, and I'll be uh, doing some more races this week with it. Um, so yeah. So th thanks again to Camus for sending it me. I'm uh, really really grateful. And uh, the 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 affiliate links in the description um, for five percent off. Um, yeah, for a starting wheelbase, uh, I think it's absolutely brilliant. And uh, I agree with all the other uh, YouTubers that have said that. You know, that's a really good wheelbase for the price. Yeah, it really is. So, all right. Thanks very much for coming, and I shall uh, see you in the next race. So, uh, take care, guys. Bye-bye.